Welcome, kids by the sea, to TNT Bible Story Time, where we have the, the power, power of, of the, the Holy Spirit. Spirit with us. So good to be connecting with you guys again. We want to give a birthday shout out to Jude Sager and Azure. Happy birthday. Oh, excuse me. Oh my goodness, you sounded like a little sheep. I know, I don't know where that came from. <laughs> That's pretty cute, Miss Trisha. Did you know that we were going to be talking about sheep in our story today? We are. That's we great. I, I randomly have my sheep costume. I guess I'll just put it on because I have one too. I love to just, you know, remind myself when I was in pre-K and I was a sheep at the Christmas pageant. Oh, yeah. Oh, you have one too? Yep. And I also like to remind myself that um, in the Bible, it talks about how God often says that his people are like his little sheep. Yes, I'm starting to remember. I remember that. You taught yeah. me that. And do you remember that story going on a bear hunt? Yes, I also did that in pre-K, and I think we did a version before that you taught me. One with the sheep in it? Yes, let's do that one. There's one called We're Going to the Sheep Pen. And so we thought for some of our younger kids that you guys could help us. We'll say it and you repeat it. And for some of our older kids, I don't know, for old time's sake, maybe you might want to do this. It was really fun to do it when we were at the preschool. Um, it goes like, let me get my words ready here. <laughs> it's this, been a while. It says, we're going to the sheep pen. We're going to the sheep pen. We're going to be safe there. We're going to be safe there. I'm not scared. I'm not scared. It's a beautiful day. It's a beautiful day. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Grass. Grass. Long, wavy grass. Long, wavy grass. We can't go over it. You can't go over it. You can't go under it. You can't go under it. Oh, no. Oh, no. We've got to go through it. We've got to go through it. Swishy, swashy, swishy, swashy, swishy, swashy, swishy, swashy. We're going to the sheep pen. We're going to the sheep pen. We're going to be safe there. We're going to be safe there. I'm not scared. I'm not scared. It's a beautiful day. It's a beautiful day. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. A river. A river. A deep, cold river. A deep, cold river. We can't go over it. We can't go over it. We can't go under it. We can't go under it. Oh, no. Oh, no. We've got to go through it. We've got to go through it. Splish, splash, splish, splash, splish, splash, splish, splash. We're going to the sheep pen. We're going to the sheep pen. We're going to be safe there. We're gonna be safe there. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. A thunderstorm. Thunderstorm. A crashing, pouring thunderstorm. A crashing, pouring thunderstorm. We can't go over it. We can't go over it. We can't go under it. We can't go under it. Oh, no. Oh, no. We've got to go through it. We've got to go through it. Pitter-patter, 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 pitter-patter. We're going to the sheep pen. We're going to the sheep pen. We're gonna be safe there. We're gonna be safe there. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. A cave. A cave. A dark, gloomy cave. A dark, gloomy cave. We can't go over it. We can't go over it. We can't go under it. We can't go under it. We've got to go through it. We've got to go through it. What's that? One f -f -f furry f -f mane. Furry mane. Two big eyes. Two big eyes. It's, it's, it's a lion. A lion. No, no. Jesus is our shepherd. Jesus, take, 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 my, take hand. my hand. Take my hand. Quick, run. Run back. Back through the cave. Tiptoe, tiptoe, tiptoe. Back through the thunderstorm. Pitter, patter, pitter, patter. Back through the river. Splish, splash, 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 splash. Back through the grass. Swishy, swashy, swishy, swashy, swishy, swashy. Back to the sheep pen. Open the gate. Close it. Close the gate. <sighs> Jesus, we made it through. We made it. Jesus, we love you. We love you, Jesus. It's a beautiful day. It's a beautiful day. Oh, that was so fun. Story. I just took me way back. We did, did a great job remembering it. I like how Jesus um, is a good shepherd and he protects the sheep from 
uh, thunderstorms and lions and wolves, whatever it might be. Any scary thing. Any scary thunderstorms. Thing. And that reminds me of Jesus' story today for us, which comes from the book of John, chapter 10 in the New Testament of our Bibles. And I have uh, some pictures that go Love along with book. it from this book called Found. And I just think it's so sweet. It shows the shepherd and his little lamb. And um, I thought that it might be a good way to look at some of the things that Jesus teaches us. Yes. And one of the things that we know is that God is our good shepherd and that we are his little sheep. And that as the good shepherd, he feeds us Aww. and he guides us. He helps us to know where the right paths that are that we should go on when we pray and we talk yes. to him. And he looks after us so that we have he all the does. things that we need. I like that how sweet it is that we can come up into Jesus' arms like when we pray and talk to him. It's like crawling up into his lap. Inside, he helps our heart to be quiet, mm. and he leads us by still waters. Mm. So that inside, he's taking care of not just what our body needs, but inside what our soul and our heart and our mind needs. Oh, what a good shepherd. Yeah. Jesus was teaching one time, and he said that... Um, that the shepherd comes in through the gate. And when he comes in through the gate, he calls all of his sheep by name. And when he calls them by name, the sheep hear the shepherd's voice and they know his voice. They only follow him. If somebody else came and called the sheep a stranger, the sheep would run away. They wouldn't follow them. And so God is saying that we should be like the sheep that listen and know the shepherd's voice. Mm -hmm. So the way we get to know the shepherd's voice is by learning about him at church by reading um different stories in the bible by talking to people that love him so that we can know what are the kinds of things that jesus would say and that jesus would teach us and jesus said that god's people are like sheep and jesus is the shepherd and jesus said that he's the gate for the sheep when they trust in him and they believe in him they come in to the father and they're saved by knowing jesus and loving him Jesus was saying that he is the way and the true life and that he came so that everybody could have good, extraordinary life that would go on forever with him. Jesus is the good shepherd who gives up his life for the sheep. He said that he would even risk his own life to protect his sheep from wolves Whoa. and even from storms. He said that he would go into any dark, scary valley he looks that, so lost. Yeah, that little lamb, that little sheep looks a little bit scared. But his shepherd is with him. He says that he was willing, the shepherd was willing even to die to protect his people. Jesus came to do his father's plan and he was going to die on the cross and rise again so that other people could be forgiven of their sins and have a life with him forever. Wow. Yeah. He says, I won't be afraid because my shepherd... Um, knows where I am, and he is here with me. <gasps> he found him. I love that. <laughs> so sweet. And it says that um, he keeps me safe, he rescues me, and he makes me strong and brave. <sighs> the shepherd will go anywhere where a little sheep has gotten lost or wandered off. And it says... He's getting wonderful things ready for me, especially for me. Everything I ever dreamed. He fills my heart so full of happiness, I can't hardly hold it all inside. Huh. Wherever I go, I know. God's never stopping, never giving up, unbreaking, always and forever love will follow me too. Oh, that is so sweet. Good story. It is a good story. I love thinking about God as our shepherd because he's so tender and he takes such good care of his sheep. Mm -hmm. And I don't know, maybe some of you guys have pets out there. I know I have a cat. Miss Trisha, do you have any? Two cats. Two cats. Um, think about it. Tell somebody at your house maybe who your pet is and how you help to take care of that pet. And then think about how God loves us. He makes sure that we have water and food and more than anything, he makes sure that we have his love and that we have his hope of being in heaven with him when we trust in him. And yes. you can pray to him and talk to him anytime, anywhere. When you feel scared, he's with you. He's not far from you. He's with you in his heart. So 
We want to bless you guys this week and send you off in uh, just a quick prayer for you. God, I pray for the children and their families. I pray that you would help them to know how much you love them, what a good shepherd you are, that you're with them wherever they go, whether they're at school or at home, if they're, if they're in a time that's good, if they're in a time that's feeling scary or frustrating, that they can call on your name and that you hold them with by your hand and that you love them forever and that your love will never give out. It will never give up. It will never run empty. It's perfect and always and forever. We love you and all God's children said, Amen. Amen. Till next week. Bye, Bye. guys.